Hey, Steven. Hi. Hi. Hello. Hi. Uh, we still have um, one member of the public that is joining. So Ashley's going to miss today, right? That's correct. All right. Yeah. We just waiting. Got Miguel and Thor and David. There's David. We're just waiting on Thor. Yes, he's joining right now. Excellent. We'll start right on time. Hi, everyone. Hey, hey Miguel. Let's see what we have. Oh, we're all here. Um, everyone. Oh, Ashley. Hand. Ashley was not going to be here. That's right. That's correct. Correct. All right. Uh, we'll call the meeting to order at two thirty-one. Welcome everybody. Um, any, I see there's a public, uh, any comment from the public? Hearing none. Okay. Can we get an approval of the minutes? A motion. A motion. Thank you, Miguel. Second, anybody? I'll second the motion. David, thank you. Um, if everyone read it, uh, any discussion on the minutes? Hearing none, we'll call for the vote. All those in favor of approving the minutes, say aye. 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 Any, any opposed? Any abstentions? Okay, the motion passes. Um, we'll go to Thor. Um, I think you're still, fi who's finance? It's still you, Thor, right? Yes. Yeah. No, 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 Miguel. Miguel. Oh, oh Miguel, that's, sorry, That is sorry. actually me now. Yeah. Thank you, Miguel. <laughs> we'll go to you with no, the finance. No problem. <laughs> no problem. It's a new year. <laughs> uh, <laughs> um, if you open up the profit and loss uh, summary, um, you will see that our, uh, expense, uh, our expenses in January appeared to exceed the typical burn rate of between $70,000 and $80,000 per month. Um, but that is because there were two uh, invoices uh, trailing over from last year for security. So the uh, expenses were actually typical uh, for the month. Um, on the balance sheet, uh, you will see that our, our current uh, balance of assets total is $168,997.90, wow. um, with, with $119,647.07. And seven cents in the bank. Great. Thank you. All right. Um, is that, is that, that's it. Is that the report? Hello? Miguel? Hello? Did we lose Miguel? Miguel? I think he said yes. I'm here. Oh, all right. That, so, that concludes uh, my report. I'm, I'm sorry. Was on mute. All right. So for the finance committee, um, we'll, when we get into that, um, well, this is the finance committee. So um, we've got to think about a budget for the artwork um, uh, for the mediums. We now get into the art committee report uh, when we get to it in a second. Um, but uh, that's something we want to discuss in the finance committee, what, what we think our budget will be. But we can get to that in the art committee. All right. Thank you, Miguel. Uh, Diana, uh, the executive director. Hey, um, just quickly, we did receive our first assessment, which for 2021, which is approximately $435,000 plus or minus. Um, Miguel, I think you have the, the exact amount on hand. I can get it for you. Yeah. And we did receive that, and I will be invoicing for that within the next day or two um, as soon as I upload the fourth quarter newsletter. 
I have a, uh, from council member Nithya Rahman, I have confirmed that she will be at our board meeting on February 25th, starting at 3.30. Um, they, her office has requested that we submit a list of questions and subjects that we, or areas of concern that we would like to provide for her. So, well, for the record, Diana, someone has taken a, a picture of me from uh, 2017 and posted it. I guess they're a fan. Uh, Ricci, thank you for doing that. But I, uh, so you're clear, I do not authorize the use of any images of me for any purpose. And since Ricci has now identified himself as David Bass, that would be an illegal use of my image and name. And I don't believe that's permissible under any Brown Act or public meeting. And our council has asked that people who use images that they're not authorized to use should be deleted from the meeting and they should use their own name. Well, okay, well noted. But if you wanna say that as long as people know if Ricci wants to stay there, you do not have the right to use my image uh, and uh, if you want other images, if you're uh, that interested in me, um, you can certainly uh, come and have them. I'll sign, give you an autograph too. But um, there's some kind of punk feels it's uh, enjoyable to interrupt public meetings using the images of others. Obviously, they have some issues in their life and they need to deal with them. But uh, bring it up, we'll bring it up with our council and um, move forward. Ignore the punks. Right, there are a David guest and a David Bass guest as well, so. I'm, I'm as David. So this guy, Ricci, has identified himself as me and used an image from the 2017, uh, I think that was from the 2017 uh, stakeholders meeting. It's good to have fans. I wish they were classy and smart, not punks like this guy. Okay. Um, well, I wanted to note on the for our uh, board meeting on February 25th that I would request that um, we put together a list of questions and concerns for Nithya Rahman that we would submit uh, in advance to the board meeting. How long um, does she would want to be a woman, she give her 15 minutes, 20 minutes, what do you, um, she maybe will three speak, questions? She will, she will speak for 30 minutes. And I'm sure that she will provide an, you know, an overview of her, of what her plans are and her background. But I thought it was a good opportunity and time for us to also present any questions or concerns for the bid that we would like to address with her. Good. You know, such as the side Will we also be introduced to her field deputies? I have requested that uh, Tabitha Yellows, I believe her last name is, attend. I haven't received any word back yet, though. So hopefully she will, but she may not. But I'm, at any rate, I'm sure she will speak of them if they don't attend. And I, I just want to note also that there's a, somebody here called Diana from Iron Mountain that also looks like they're doing some depiction of David Bass. And uh, so there's a couple of them here today, unfortunately. Yeah. Okay. Thank you for noting that. Um, I am also in the process of still working through completing the booklets for our new board members. And my um, estimated time for, of completion as it is at the end of February, which is just in a few weeks, a week or at the end of the month. And I've also attached the uh, contract that was submitted by Garden of Eva, the media and landscaping contract I, for anybody that is interested to review it. And I'm sure that Thor will also talk about it in his report. I think Thor, I assume you're going to do a, a motion to approve that? Yeah, I've, I've looked it over, David. Uh, I will um, have a, a motion to approve that. Um, I, uh, I haven't looked at it um, maybe uh, as hard as 
a motion might um, might require. I don't know if you looked at that or anybody else, but brief and through it, it looks very similar to their contract. I believe that they gave us for the landscape or the uh, the uh, maintenance agreements, but um, yeah, it's uh, it's not full, filled out with some dates and things like that uh, as far as start dates, which is yet to be defined. So there are some things that, that aren't um, finalized in this. And I would imagine once we do get the approval of the board and we're ready to go, then those matters will be taken care of. Great. And then lastly, I am still working on getting additional um, quotes for purchasing additional trash cans as needed. And I also have spoken with Clean Street and they will be submitting their estimate for repainting any damaged trash cans that we discussed prior, which is approximately about $50 a trash can. So I'll be, I'll be uh, submitting an assessment on that. All right, thank you, Diana. Um, okay, so the Arts Committee, um, Martha's, you know, she's not on this call. Um, I was just in that meeting a few hours ago, and um, we discussed uh, with uh, the committee about putting uh, one or two sculptures on the medians, and the first step would be a budget, um, which we have to sort of coordinate with the Finance Committee and the Art Committee and the board. Um, but they were very excited about that. Um, of course, we always talk about the theaters and, um, and uh, we talked about an art walk uh, at some point, maybe once a month uh, for the galleries. And um, it was overall a very uh, good meeting. Um, but, uh, you know, what, what we should go over here, maybe on the joint um, executive board and the finance is about uh, a budget for the art. If um, you know we we have that, and I don't. I asked China to find out what that sort of art costs. They they said that um, you know we know the developers pay a one percent fee um, for public art for their developments, one percent of their project. We have two very large projects coming online. Uh, the Post Group at 1000 Highland and uh, the Ani uh, Project at Santa Monica and Mansfield. And, um, you know, we can uh, talk to those developers. The art committee was discussing it um, and we could help on the executive committee and see if we can get any of that. And they're going to also talk uh, to the city, uh, the council office about funds for art. Um, but um, this, yeah, I, I really uh, don't have an idea what a, a sculpture like that would cost for our median. Um, you know, maybe the city of West Hollywood knows, or maybe they, uh, the artists donates a lot of it. It's very interesting, um, but I, I, I like the idea. Is there any comments on this? Yeah, I, I have a comment on that, Jeff. Yes. All right, Miguel, then David. Go ahead, uh, no, I, I have a comment only because I, I, I just researched um, how those arts uh, fees are used in the building uh, permit. And so um, developers have the option to either pay that fee to the city as part of their building permit, or um, they have the option to enter an agreement um, to, uh, to come up with an, uh, an arts uh, program of their of their choosing essentially. And they work with this, uh, with um, a body at the city in determining what that should be. So uh, I think it's a great idea to reach out to um, uh, new projects and that are going in up in the bid and talk to the, to the developer about instead of just paying the fee to the city and then not knowing exactly how the city is going to use it or where it's going to go, why not invest in some kind of, um, uh, art project within the bid that you know is going to ultimately end up benefiting the community, the local community. Yeah, it's very exciting because, um, you know, we have very creative people on our board and in the arts uh, committee and 
they're very excited about this and um it, it's just uh you know it'd be great uh, for our uh stakeholders um to have beautiful art in the medians so um yeah, I mean, we got the post group. We we have uh, Jacques Massach. He knows the owner very well. We could talk to Jacques and um, Ani Group. Um, I'm sure we can reach out to them. And and even your company may um, have other projects coming online soon. <laughs> um, so great idea. Yeah, it's definitely something we're going to look into going forward. Yeah. And um, David? Oh, yeah. Well, China, I wasn't on the Arts Committee. China, who's in the art world, did she comment on she was looking into it? Did she have any ideas how you find yeah. some art, whatever that may be, a sculpture or something? Yes, yeah, she... she um, or what it costs and what it costs. Well, well, one, she has tons of uh, artists that, uh, that would want to uh, get involved with this. You know, we, we only could pick one, I guess, or or we could have one per, if we put a piece of art uh, on Melrose area and DeLong Priest, we could have two. Um, she was talking about the, uh, she brought up about the developers and about the city and how there's funds for the arts. And um, she was very excited. But I think the first step may be a budget. Uh, but she said a lot of the artists uh, could donate or reduce their fees because it's very, uh, prominent and very prestigious for them to have their art displayed permanently publicly. She said they, they would uh, really enjoy that. So, um, yeah, it was a, a good meeting in the arts committee and we, we just have to start somewhere and, and maybe the start is a, a, a proposed budget um, that we would like to throw into art. And then we might, we might not, have to spend that type of money. We, we might get a lot of it uh, in grants and in these fees uh, from the city or developers. Jeff, did they mention, oh, go ahead, Stephen. Yes, yeah, Stephen, Stephen. Jeff, hello, hello everyone. Uh, for those who don't know me, I'm Stephen from the uh, LA LGBT Center. Just on the art thing, you, you probably know um, across the street from the center on um, Selma, there's a whole new construction of affordable housing, I believe, that Thomas Safran are doing. Um, it's going to be restricted to artists who can live in there. And I know that it's not exactly in this in the media bid, but it's media bid adjacent. I don't know if there's potentially anything. I don't know what the, what the criteria is for artists who are going to live in these affordable housing units, but there may be some way of potentially connecting that project or people living in that project with what you're hoping to do here in a way that might mean we wouldn't have to spend money. I don't know. Maybe there's some sort of collaborative thing that could be done. And maybe they already exist in the media bit, and I don't know about it, that we have designated affordable housing units that are restricted to artists where perhaps some of those folks could maybe get involved with this project. Yeah, it's a very good idea. And I brought that up at the arts committee uh, to, you know, not only China's artists, but do we, do we want to go out to artists who are in the bid or adjacent to the bid and open it up um, where these artists would submit uh, what they want to do? So, you know, if that's all full of artists, um, definitely it's a good resource uh, and, and maybe uh, they can get involved with us. Uh, very good idea, Stephen. Oh, by the way, um, I, I assume everyone knows Stephen. Uh, he's a new member of our board and uh, on the executive committee and um, uh, I think everyone on this call knows you already. Um, if not, if I haven't met Stephen knows, yet, but it's you don't, nice Stephen, to see you. Why don't, meet you. Uh, why don't you introduce yourself, Stephen? Give a brief um, introduction, and um, so Miguel knows. And then, of course, at our big board meeting, we're, we're going to introduce everybody again. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I'm here to work with the media bit on primarily on behalf of the LA LGBT Center, which is where I'm based. I was involved in building the new campus on Santa Monica Boulevard. Um, before getting to the center, I've been there now, oh God, eight or nine years, I think. 2013 was when I joined as a volunteer, kind of retiring almost from where I was before. I was the CEO of a big corporation, initially a British company, and I headed up the American subsidiary of it. So I've got a corporate business background, but I've worked for the nonprofit at the center, doing a whole myriad of different jobs. I work very closely with Laurie Jean, um, and I'm responsible right now 
for completing two affordable housing projects, one on Macadden, the other on Las Palmas. They're very nearly done. They should be done within the month, really. Um, and then also developing uh, businesses, really, for the center, social enterprises that can be used to try and bring revenue into the organization instead of us always having to go to donors or to grant providers for funds. But um, hopefully I can contribute something and I'll try and carry on the good work that Simon Costello did with you guys for a number of years. Well, we're, we're very excited to have you on the board and um, welcome. And we look forward to um, your opinions and contributions. Um, all right, I think, um, Thor, did you raise your hand? Well, I just wanna ask from the um, Arts Committee, how long of a process, let's say, let's just throw out a number, we give them, you know, 10 bucks, right? It could be 10,000 something. How long from when they get that information to like picking a winner and coming up? Did they give you any outline of that? No, um, we, we, we didn't talk that specifically, but you know, the, the art would have to be created and it has to be, we went over it's graffiti proof and weatherproof and um, you know, so it's a whole process. I, I think yeah. it, it probably like if we give them a budget and then the grants or the one uh, percent from the developers. I, I think um, you know it's probably a six month pro uh, process. But you know I, I want to make sure it happens. I, I don't want it to become like the medallions. And yeah, my, you know. my the only point of asking is that you know I want to push forward with the medians, and then they can come in you know halfway through the year or whatnot. The medians are there; they're getting healthy. You know, because I, I just want to make sure everybody understands I don't want to hold up the medium project unnecessarily to wait for any kind of artwork. We can we can change it at that time. So as no, no, I agree. Um, we're going to go forward with the medians. Um, everyone on the arts committee agreed that the best spot if we're going to have one sculpture would be at Melrose. Yeah, yeah. Um, and maybe move the boulder idea to the other end of the median or in the middle medians. And then the other spot, if we're gonna um, be lucky enough to get two sculptures, would of course be at the Long Pre so that it gets maximum exposure. And uh, China felt artists would really wanna have their art there because hundreds of thousands of people a month are gonna see it. And it's very prestigious for the artists to have public art displayed permanently. And and would that be Jeff? I, I know working with some murals in the past that, you know, it's our medians, but it's their artwork, and they can, it, you know, we should, we need to look at that carefully to make sure that you know we can still control that artwork, and if it needs to be changed or moved or whatnot. Just so you know, I mean, sometimes it gets to be like, well, that's my art; you can never, never, never move it. Now I have no idea if it applies to these kind of situations, but certainly um, murals at times do. Well, we'll need a uh, contract, uh, legal contract, um, yeah. who owns the art and how long it's gonna be up. And um, that, that'll probably be near the end of the process, but okay. you're 100% you're right. Very good idea, Thor. Um, any, anything else on the arts committee um, before we move on? Okay, we will go. I think Miguel, you are still the plum, correct? I am. All um, right. In our yes, in our in our last meeting, uh, we were joined by the Post Group, who presented uh, their project at 1000 Seward. Um, for those of you who are not familiar with the project, it's a 10-story office building. Um, that's going in where the Rayo's uh, restaurant uh, building currently is and, and a large parking lot behind it. Um, the project is, is very exciting. Uh, it's going to uh, bring more uh, media-related uh, office uh, and creative office space uh, into, the, into the district. Um, it's going to include also some neighborhood-serving retail on the ground floor. Uh, and a, a restaurant space on the 10th floor. Um, they are uh, currently fairly early uh, in the process. Um, so uh, they didn't ask for a motion to support the project yet, but they will, uh, they uh, took feedback, of course, and then they will return uh, to the Plum Committee uh, to present the project um, once they are in full on uh, seeking their entitlements. Uh, and ask for our support. Um, 
the 7-Eleven nuisance abatement proceeding, uh, the hearing is, uh, the process is really still on hold, um, pending a uh, hearing date being set. Uh, the planner has changed. Uh, the planner used to be Matthew Lum and has now changed to Iris Wan. Uh, so I'll be co uh, corresponding with her going forward on uh, the status of uh, of the abatement proceedings and uh, when a hearing date is set. Um, the Hollywood Community Plan Update 2, there is a CPC uh, virtual meeting um, coming up one week from today, February 18th. Um, and uh, I encourage everyone uh, to attend the meeting. Uh, for this hearing, there will be a public comment period as well. Um, and it uh, should be a very um, interesting and productive meeting. That's all. Are you going to speak at the uh, uh, at that hearing on behalf of the bid with those points that you went yes, over? I am. Yeah, that's great. Yeah, I'm I'm happy to and can go over the the points that we had discussed, uh, David. All right. Yep. Thank you, Miguel. Um, Thor, the Clean and Green Committee. Thank you, Jeff. Um, as we already touched on, we're um, over the last couple months, we've been engaged with the Garden of Ava. Um, and you've all been uh, provided the uh, planning plans and the renderings and the palettes and previously. We asked her at our last Queen and Green meeting to put together a landscape improvement contract, which she did. And we, uh, you all were sent that um, for this meeting. Uh, as I explained earlier, I haven't gone through this with a fine tooth comb just yet, but it certainly is um, copacetic with all the discussions that we've had. The, um, the contract would be for $59,280 to completely re-landscape all six medians. Um, and uh, we feel, uh, or the, the committee felt like that was something that was um, acceptable. And so I'd like to make a motion to uh, ex, uh, accept the landscape improvement contract dated February 7, 2021 between Garden of Eva Landscape and Design Group and the Hollywood Media District contingent upon setting dates that are not defined in this contract and any minor revisions we may feel are necessary. Uh, that was the motion? That was my motion. Okay, I'll second the motion. Could we have a discussion? Are there any discussions on that? Okay, so um, this is the, the contract that the Clean and Green Committee, you guys were vetting thoroughly over the last few months, right? This is the, this culmination. Is the culmination of that. Yes. And how long is it being done in segments or is it going to be done um, all at once? And, and if it is done, I think there's four or five mediums? Six mediums. And I believe she can do them all at once. She could, I'm sure she could do it one at a time. Um, she mentioned that to do all of them, it would take seven to 10 days to do all of the medians. So about one per day plus you know, a little bit here and there. Um, I suggest that we do them all at once. If the uh, committee or the, uh, the board and the financial committee believe that we are in a good position to do so. Well, maybe you take she that to the full board, but I, I think it's a great idea. She also mentioned that the sooner we do it, the better for those plants that will, she will be putting in the medians, uh, the sooner the better. So. She's ready to go and, and we just have to pull the trigger and hire her. Uh, any other questions on the contract? Yeah, I, I support it. And yeah, I guess the process would be if this committee um, approves, then it would go to the full board uh, two weeks from now uh, for final approval or not. Um, but I, I like it. The only thing I'd like to do is maybe those boulders are going to be pretty heavy and they're, they're probably a really good look is maybe leave, put them in a different spot 
uh, and um, we can just landscape it and then move that landscape if we if we uh, come up with the uh, art. But moving boulders might be very expensive. So that, that's the only thing I was thinking about. Uh, I, we, we haven't defined with her exactly where those boulders may or may not go. So mm -hmm. I think that we, we can have that discussion with her with, with that in mind um, and not having to move those boulders twice. And if yeah. we set on doing one, if not two uh, uh, artworks, we know where they will go. You just explained it. So um, Diana, I don't think that'd be a problem. We just mentioned to her where, you know, what we plan on doing and she can work around it. And we don't have to have boulders either. It just. No, it's, it's a cool look for. Yeah, it, I like it too. I'm just saying. So, and, and, I, and I'm assuming that most people, when we go to the board, are going to be um, on board with the um, um, the art, uh, you know, the expense for that, or I, I think, I mean, we have to hear from the whole board. Yeah. Are there mock-ups that we can present to the whole board, Thor, in uh, two well, weeks, or images, yeah. something? They, they do, uh, the Garden of Eva did distribute, and I think our, we had it with our full board was the palette. It's this, it's, it's this one yeah. that goes through all of it. So yes, that is what we have. It, it talks about the planning and proximate locations of where those plants would go within all the medians. So um, any other questions? Well, hearing none, I'd like to uh, call the question to support the landscape improvement contract uh, subject to dates and minor revisions. All in favor? Raise your Aye. hand. Aye. 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 Any abstentions? Any no votes? Uh, uh, thank you very much. Um, I think it's going to be fantastic. Really excited about it. Um, I also want to bring the attention. We also asked Ava to give us an idea of what it would take to maintain the medians on an ongoing basis. Um, and she did give us a landscape maintenance agreement uh, that I don't know if this uh, committee has, uh, has it, we had it at our um, clean and green committee, but the nuts and the bolts of it is that she and her crew would maintain the medians for $720 a month. That's all six medians. And that is um, uh, two laborers at two hours per week. Um, I think from our last medians, which I was picking up on and, and part of one of our problems with sustaining our medians was we did not eat, upkeep them as well as we should have been. And, and um, we just, uh, our last clean and green contractor um, did not come through with what our agreement was. So I think this is worthwhile. I think $720 a month to have the people that planted it to also nurture it to uh, health and maturity is a good idea. Um, there's no motion on the floor for that. I just wanted to mention that $720 a month seems to me to be an excellent um, price to make sure that our medians are taken care of at the highest standards. You might want to bring that up with the board when we bring this up in two weeks, but it would be good if you and Diana could find if there are other uh, uh, competitors who could do it. The planter would obviously, uh, the company who does the planting would be the best one to maintain it, but you might want to see if there's just, just to get a sense of reasonableness um, as to their offer. Yeah, we've, we're checking into that. David, thanks for bringing that up. And, um, and so we will look at that. And if there's a substantial difference, we could talk about it. But yes, Diana, you and I can work on that. Yes? Yes. Okay. Thank you, David. Um, so that's, that's where we are with the median landscaping um, exercise. Um, moving on to Clean Street. I, uh, it's, it's just repetitive. They're amazing and awesome. Uh, we had three 
the three uh, Cognito requests this morning, as a matter of fact, and they've already addressed all three of them. There was a fourth, I believe, that was not even part of our bid, but maybe because of the success, even though it's Joaquin and it's Clean Street doing the Hollywood Entertainment District, we got one from Argyle. But um, it really seems like our stakeholders are starting to get the message that this is uh, something that is there for them and they are taking full advantage of it. And Clean Street is doing a phenomenal job getting there and cleaning up whatever might be needed to be cleaned up. So in the, yeah, in the last 24 hours, I think there have been five separate big bulky item requests yes. uh, uh, that have been cleaned up in a, like 30 minutes, I guess, that they get there. Yeah, and I just think there's really nothing more important to our stakeholders than to have that. Um, security is great, um, but really it's the nuisance um, of, of trash and litter that I think this is making a fantastic impression. And I just think it's gonna amplify when, um, when we do see more people coming back to the district and working. So I'm thrilled. Can't tell you how thrilled we are. Any questions on Clean Street or uh, what they've been doing lately? No, they're doing a great job. <laughs> yeah, they are. So uh, that's my report. Thank you, everybody. All right. Thank you, Thor. Excellent. Um, Ashley couldn't make it today. Uh, my fault. I had to move the meeting because of my schedule today. Um, the marketing committee is doing very exciting things um, with the with the website and social media and promoting our, uh, our bid and um, for our stakeholders in the business. And um, Diana, uh, do you wanna um, just elaborate a little on some of these items? Sure. We yeah. went over. Sure, Please. I'll give a quick update. Um, we are starting to post on the uh, event, calendar, event calendar on our website and we, um, just started including uh, gallery events, which is very exciting to see that those are opening back up. Um, social media, as of today, we just posted our first uh, giveaway that we collaborated with um, the restaurant um, even, ta even Tables. I'm sorry, I don't have the name in front of me, but um, we collaborated with a restaurant where we did a picnic basket giveaway and we purchased $27 to collaborate with the restaurant. I believe it's the restaurant is Even Tables. And if you uh, check out our website feed, not our website, but our Instagram feed, you'll, you'll see our post. And um, we are proposing that um, each person that would like to um, try and win the basket would has to follow a, a series of requirements, which is uh, become a follower on our website, the restaurant's website, and also refer so many people to both of our websites to become followers. And um, so that is going really good. And let's see what else. And then eBlast, we are just about, we are uh, wrapping up the Valentine's uh, eBlast that is going out today. So you will see that in your email. And that is promoting 10 restaurants in the bid, which will each restaurant will have a link going to their restaurant. And the third quarter newsletter was completed and is being uploaded to the, the website. And as I mentioned earlier, the fourth quarter newsletter is being completed and will be up late, updated to the portal within the next day or two. And then that one will be prepared to be distributed out to all of our stakeholders as well. And the district brochure is going into production very soon. <laughs> all right, thank you, Diana. You're welcome. Yeah. Uh, very good. Any questions on marketing uh, from the board here, the executive committee? Okay. All right, David, you're the new safe committee chairman. Uh, just to review what we did, we're having the, um, the two uh, captains for the, uh, the AGS captains who have been doing an excellent job uh, 
directing their patrols to an efficient place, to places that actually need attention. They've put together um, uh, a lot of information while they're out there about the bid. For example, where the trash cans are and their uses, whether we need more, whether they need more service, what the parking restrictions are and whether parking restrictions are helping or hurting security, whether they're accommodating the uh, the residents uh, and the uh, businesses or not, so that uh, uh, everyone on the board can evaluate that and see if there are recommendations we would make. In addition, um, starting in the next, probably by March, uh, they will, as they go on foot doing what's, uh, it's not really policing, but community patrols and sort of safety walking, uh, through the district, they're introducing themselves to the business leaders. So the businesses uh, will be giving out uh, brochures and information on the bid so that uh, the, the uh, stakeholders are aware of the services that the bid has and soliciting information on where they think uh, security is lacking or what needs they have, and in particular, picking up trash or if they have any intrusions in their property. So they'll be starting that as they go through and do their patrols, um, making contact with the um, with stakeholders and businesses. That's about it. They're working on a new on, on whether to modify their patrol route that they do on foot or on bicycle uh, to hit spots that require the presence of the uh, uh, security guards um, uh, more so than other areas. Thank you, David. We, we discussed in the um, arts committee about the sidewalks, but you know, there's so many spots that really need attention. And if we, you know, help this stakeholder or that stakeholder, uh, then we got other people mad at us. And um, so, you know, it's more um, advocacy to the city to get the uh, really horrible sidewalks fixed. Uh, but, you know, we, as a bid, I don't think we could take that on. Um, without getting a lot of people jealous and upset that they want theirs done. So, um, you know, I saw it on your list here about the Yeah, well, they've, uh, they've identified those places where the, the um, sidewalks are dangerous. Either they're, they're buckling and people have tripped or uh, businesses and, or owners have complained that visitors are tripping on them and find them to be a nuisance. And uh, at least we have that information. We probably should advocate for the city to do it um, and see if they will do it or if, they, or if the councilman, our new councilman has any ideas how we can expedite that. A lot of them are on Highland, which is kind of tough to walk down. There's a lot of uh, buckling of the sidewalks. So present that either to the councilman or to the city, see if it can be done. At least we have the information uh, where the needs exist. Yeah, they'll come up, I'm sure, for questions in two weeks to the councilwoman. And uh, China pointed out that all they really do now is asphalt. They don't do concrete. So it, it, their fix is uh, not attractive. Um, you know, it's just a patch. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, thank you, David, for the report. Uh, does anyone have any questions on SAFE? No? All right. Um, any old business? Any new business? Okay, it's 3.13 and this meeting's adjourned. Have a wonderful weekend, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Jeff. Bye. All right, thanks for attending. Thank you.